This video is brought to you by Rio Link. Today we're working in the powerhouse again. So there's a number of projects that we're gonna be doing here in the powerhouse while we have the washer and dryer moved out. So we're gonna pull the washer and dryer out of the room because behind it we need to install gas lines to the house. We need to install the power line to our charge verter. So let's get to it. Now that we have our washer and dryer out of here, we've got a lot more space to work. You can see where we've run our conduit from the plug that we have on the outside of the building for our generator that will eventually get hardwired into a permanent standby generator. We also have our one inch gas line plumbed through here that we're gonna tap into today for the dryer gas. Our conduit that we had wasn't long enough to reach our cord on the charge verter, so we're gonna have to extend it a bit. So we're gonna send it into a junction box, extend it to another junction box, and that second junction box is where we actually wire in the charge verter. We left all of our wire long, as you can see here. So we're gonna have to pull it all through the box so that we don't waste any wire. Now, you can tell from the low battery alarm in the background that getting the charge verter wired in today was a big priority. Okay. <coughs> Your old man cough. Yeah. <laughs> so the very important part is to make sure you get this lock ring on So we're gonna put the junction box right there so that this charge verter cable can go right down into it. So we'll mark and cut our piece of conduit. So we're gonna come in through the top with our half inch fitting. And in through the side with our three quarter inch fitting.
and a three quarter hole. Here at our first junction box, we've identified our wire colors. Now we're going to leave a little bit of wire in there in case we ever have to do anything with it. We're going to put our cover on. So we got the charge verter wired in. We are charging at 40 amps, which is a little less than half of what this charge inverter will do, but it's the most that our little generator will do in the meantime until we get a bigger generator. We have partnered with RealLink before and they have recently sent us the Home Hub, which allows you to store all of your camera footage locally on the hub without having an SD card in each individual camera. The Rio Link Home Hub also offers an added level of security, where if you have an SD card in your camera, all someone would have to do is steal your camera and you would lose all of your footage. Whereas the Home Hub stores all of the footage locally to an SD card that's within the Home Hub. Take advantage of Rio Link's fantastic Black Friday and Christmas season discounts to treat yourself or find the perfect gift for your loved ones. RealLink empowers you to see differently with their extensive range of 180 degree blind spot free cameras for a wider view. ColorX technology for a brighter full color vision even in low light conditions and ultra high 4K resolution for crystal clear detail. RealLink offers a range of smart, user-friendly and cutting edge security solutions. Whether you're looking to enhance security indoors or outdoors, their diverse selection includes PoE, Wi-Fi, solar, 4G, LTE cameras, and NVR systems to meet your unique needs. Take advantage of Real Link's fantastic Black Friday and Christmas season discounts to treat yourself or find the perfect gift for your loved ones. Click on our link in the description below to take advantage of Real Link's Black Friday discounts where you can get up to 43% off of your purchase. And now, back to the build. This is our setup for our gas system. We're starting at our regulator. We'll come down here, we've got our generator tap. Then we'll go into our one inch corrugated stainless steel gas line into the powerhouse where we will go from the one inch corrugated steel to three quarter inch where we'll have our dryer tapped in. Then the three quarter inch will go out in the corrugated steel all the way over to the pantry area where it will transfer from corrugated steel to feed our half inch line going to the water heater and our half inch line going to the stove. We also have at each junction point the drip leg which will catch any debris that is traveling through the pipes in our three locations. All of our fittings dry fit, we're going to take it all apart again and put it together permanently.
just got back up from underneath the house where we installed the three quarter to half inch manifold. And now we've got our half inch stubbed up through the floor here at the stove. We're gonna put on the floor flange and the valve. And then we'll finish up in the water heater room and then we should be ready to start leak checking. So we've turned the gas on and now we're checking with our leak detector for any leaks. There's actually a very sensitive way to check it. We'll create a small leak here. Now tell us if we have a leak. So it may look like I'm playing with flammable gas here, but actually what I'm doing is making sure that all of the air is purged out of the line so I can test for an actual gas leak. <laughs> 